Hey everyone, it's Karen. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, hello and welcome. Thank you for joining us. Um, I have my little flexi finger ready to go. We're going to be doing some beautiful glittery flowers. But before we get into that, I just wanted to say I'm going to be doing a comment of the week where each week one subscriber comment will be chosen at random to receive a little nail art surprise gift from Nail Sugar. So um, don't forget to leave a little comment below and you could be chosen and could have a lovely surprise on its way. So just a little thank you for all the support. But jumping into today's design, um, I'm going to start off with a nice black base. And I'm going to do this really neat around the cuticle and just kind of butt the brush up there and just sort of swoop it around. You can also use a detailing brush as well too. I'm going to be doing two coats of this. So once I'm happy with the first one, it will go into the lamp and then I shall go back in with a second coat. Okay, and next I'm going to be using some dry top matte and this here is to give us a nice matte base for doing the next part of our design work. So I'm just going to be putting that over the black and then popping that in for a cure. Time to bring in the big guns. It's the Nat Mug brush. Look how beautiful it is. Cannot wait for our next batch to arrive in. Um, but anyways, getting some white gel polish onto my little palette. I'm just doing a semicircle. This is going to be the center of our flower. Of course, you can position yours wherever you want to. Um, so we're just, um, once I have that semicircle, all nicely sort of painted in then I do go in for a cure and now what I'm doing is I am just putting these lines on these are going to be our guidelines for our petals as you can see I done one halfway down and then I do one either side to kind of keep everything just sort of um, evened out if that makes sense I can't think of the word it's been a long day but uh, once I have my little guidelines in place, this here is just, this is just going to really help with the position of the petals because I kind of find that if I wing this and just sort of do it as it, it just, I've tried it and it just ends up a disaster. So these little lines are my saving grace whenever it comes to this design. Um, so as you can see, I'm just doing now the outline of the petals. And once I have that outline, the, the outline of the petals done all the way around, I cure, um, just flash cure, and then I'm gonna go back in and fill them all in. And the reason I do that is I, I kind of find that it gives, for whenever you're filling in the petals, cause these are the back petals, it kind of gives a little lip for the rest of your gel polish to just kind of sit into. It's a tiny, 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 tiny little layer, but, as you can see at this point here, this is this is just after I'd flash cured and it just helps the gel polish to sit that little bit better. So these, like I say, these are the back petals. They don't have to be ridiculously neat or anything like that there. And then once they've been cured, we're gonna go in with some uh, top coat. Okay, so now on to the top petals and as you can see, I'm just doing exactly as I did before, only I'm going in between our back petals for the guidelines. And because it's matte underneath, um, you're not kind of gonna get lost in terms of what you're doing with your design over the top of it because obviously the gel polish you'll be using is going to be quite shiny because it's wet. So you'll still be able to see it okay. Um, but once I have repeated those steps as before, um, I'm just going to get my wee guidelines on and then I'm flash curing. I have Apple Teeny, Blue Lagoon, Lavender Lights and Sugar Baby here. This is the colours I have chosen for the flowers. So once that has been flash cured, I'm going to go in and I'm just going to fill in these petals, um, our front layer of petals and I'm not going to cure it. You don't want to cure it um, once you have these filled in. You'll see in a moment. Thank you. 
Okay, so now I'm going in with our sparkle over those uncured petals. I'm starting off with Apple Tini. I love these glitters. These are iridescent, so they're translucent based, which means that over white, you're gonna get that beautiful hint of color. Just, oh, they're so nice, so pretty. And then we're going in with some Blue Lagoon. And the same then with the Lavender Lights as well. And then I will finish in the center with some Sugar Baby. And once I have those applied, then they're going to go in for a double cure. Okay, so once that's been double cured, then we can go in with our little duster brush and get all the excess off and just get it all cleaned up then before moving on to the next step because we're going to be doing our greenery next. So... Um, look how pretty that is, just even without a top coat. How amazing would that look? Just left as is. It's so nice. But going back in with my nap mug detailer, and I'm just going to do on uh, some little leaves. I've done two at the bottom, and I'm just going to do two above the floor as well too. And um, before I cure this, I'm going to sprinkle on again some apple tinny over those um, those leaves. So it's. Again, it's going to just bring out that beautiful sparkly green, as you can see. I'm just tapping that on, and then we're going to go in for another double cure, um, just to cure that on. Okay, and then lastly, then we're just going to go in with some additional detail and um, just sort of bring out the center of our flower that little bit more and cover up um, the little guidelines that we had painted on as well too. And also as well, I'm just going to go around some of the petals and just do a little bit of highlighting around those back petals. And then we will go in for a cure for that. And then finally, we're on to our top coat. And I'm going to round putting a top coat over um, glitter like this here. I tend to float the first layer on and then I'll cure it. And then I will go in for a second layer so that everything's nice and smooth. And if you still have the wee bump after the second layer, you can go in, buff that and just retop as well. And you will have a lovely smooth finish. And that's us done. Ta-da! There we go. That is our finished look. I absolutely adore this. I think those glitters together just work beautifully. It almost looks like it's illuminated. It's hard to describe. It's just a really, really, really pretty design. And I had so much fun doing this. I hope you liked it too. If so, give me a little thumbs up if you haven't subscribed already. Why not subscribe? Leave a comment as well too. And you could be entered in for comment of the week as well. But have a great week, guys. Thank you so much for all your support. I really, truly appreciate it. And I will see you guys next time. Take care. Stay safe. And I will see you all again soon. Bye.